Hey guys, it's Mr. AG's Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Android OS on your iPhone 3G or iPhone 2G. As you can see, Android OS is booting on here. I was just going to show you some a little bit of the booting process. It goes into a verbose boot and um, then it loads Android, but that's that. Um, I'm going to go through quick requirements. I'm going to show you a demo of Android and then exactly how to install it on your iPhone 3G. So, first of all, iPhone 2G needs to be on 3.1.3 or 3.1.2, and it must be jailbroken with a boot ROM exploit. Boot ROM exploit is very necessary, and if you don't know what boot ROM exploit, you can check down below. I'm going to do some iPhone 2G um, jailbreak info and all that stuff. Um, but basically, you must be jailbroken with Black Rain. Red Snow or Ponage tool for up the iPhone 2G because um, Spirit will not work because it's a user land jailbreak and it doesn't allow you to flash the kernel. So that's some huge requirements <clears throat> and of course must be jailbroken if you didn't catch on to that. So the iPhone 3G right here it's running 4.1 and it must be, it can be 3.1.2, 3.1.3, 4.0, 4.0.1, and 4.1. As long as it's jailbroken with a boot ROM exploit. So again, Spirit and Jailbreak Me will not work. And uh, so there will be more instructions on jailbreaking your iPhone 3G with compatible jailbreak tools. Usually Red Snow is your best choice for the iPhone 3G, so that will be down below. Okay, so right here we have Android OS booted up on the iPhone 2G. Just a quick look through um, with it. As you can see right here, it is um, pretty basic, normal Android. Some things do not, in fact, work, but some things do. Um, it is, in fact, running Android. I mean, if you can't tell, this is not iOS at all. So. I'm just going to show you something. Uh, let's see. Show you that. I don't even know. It's just Android. Um, you have more stuff than the last port of Android for it. But um, yeah, if you go into phone, um, phone actually does work on the iPhone 2G and 3G. But it is very laggy and it not, should not be um, used for like primary stuff. So that is um, just that. So, and the buttons are a lot different. But I'm going to go into the actual installation portion of this video. So, I'm going to be showing you this tutorial with the iPhone 3G. So, um, you're going to want to open up Cydia the jailbreak um, Cydia store and you're going to want to go over to this manage category you're going to want to go over to sources you're going to want to click right here edit then hit add and you're going to want to type in repo dot neon koala don't ask me how they got the name but you're going to want to type this in Again, this is down below in the description. You're going to click Add Source. It's going to refresh. I already have it added. So you're going to want to, want to do that. Click on this. And all there is right there is bootlace. That is what is used to get Android. Now I'm also going to show you this. I'm going to turn it off and put it into iOS, show you that that still works. And show you that there is a bootloader between Android OS and iOS. So right over here, you're going to want to click install. Once that, let that load, install, and confirm. So we're going to let that do its thing. It's pretty fast. And while this is booting off, that's going to reload the data. So there it is, right, turned off. We're just going to turn it on. And right here, we have the bootloader. So right there is Android. Console is your developer tool and um, all that kind of stuff, and iOS. 
You click home button to initiate a partition, which I'm going to do right now. We're going to boot iOS. And this is 3.1.3 because it's on the iPhone 2G. So we're going to click return to Cydia. Home button. And you'll see right here is bootlace. Now I'm going to show you that it is running 4.1, as you can see right there. Um, I will also show you the general about um, options. So let's just load that up. And general about and right there is 4.1 so that's that here we go and we're going to open this bootlace now internet connection is required for all of this so you're going to want that to just do its thing it's going to download the kernel and reboot your device so we're just waiting for that as you can see over here here's this bootlace app and pretty much yeah so I'm going to let the device do its thing and I'll come right back when it is done now it is going to ask you to reboot so let's do that again in this stuff should not be interrupted so I'm just going to come back when it reboots and the device did in fact just turn on so here we go we're just going to open bootlace again and now it's going to give us the normal window that we have on the iPhone 2G so welcome blah 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 I know how to do this so I don't need any instructions but right on the home screen it has their embedded page and mobile site so check this stuff um, pretty daily and also follow these guys the whole people who are in the head of it So. You are going to want to install Open iBoot by going to this Open iBoot tab. This is basically that um, bootloader that option that you have over here. So we're going to want to click Install. Now internet connection is required. And this is very necessary. If you interrupt this at all, you're going to need to um, put a DFU mode restore and your device will be unresponsive. So that's your little warning. I'm going to click continue. And it's going to do its thing. So I'll come back when this is all done. Okay, once open iBoot is installed, you're going to want to make sure that did it successfully. No reboot is required. Actually, you probably should not reboot because it's just going to leave it out of bootloader. But you're going to want to go over and click iDroid this tab right all the way to the right and just let it load what it thinks and you need a good connection so just going to want to click right there and um, connect your device to the power it says mains I think these people are from the UK so they have different terminology but um, connect it to power if it is low this does take a while and I will come back when it's done and uh, this is the last step, basically, to get it running. So, let's just go. I'll see you when this is all done. Okay, guys, now that we have Android installed, you should be here. If you had any errors, you should probably make sure that you can reboot and all that. If you cannot, I'll have some dis instructions down there as to how to fix if you got any errors. Although you should not, I trust this program 100%. Now you see right here, if there's any, any ever any upgrades, you can just click upgrade. But this is the latest version. So if we just go over to here, this is the easiest way and the way that you're supposed to do it the first time to go right to Android from iOS. So you're just going to want to click Android. Of course, this does not, this has to be installed iDroid. So click on that. Yes, it's going to reboot. We can uh, just let that do its thing. And we can do it on the iPhone 2G as well, just to uh, see it. But this one's loading for the first time. So it's going to take probably a little bit longer than this one, but maybe not. Because the iPhone 3G is a tiny bit faster than the iPhone 2G, but not by much. 
So I'm going to just let this go through. And as you can see, this one's already on the Android booting part. This one's still loading the partition. So. And here we have it. Um, Android is right loaded up on the iPhone 3G. And it's also loaded up on the iPhone 2G. Now, a little bit of lag over here on the iPhone 3G part. But I'm sure it's going to load. And if you ever have any issues with it, all you have to do is hold the home and power and it'll turn off. Now I do not exactly know what it's doing right now, but let's just let that load up and we'll do a quick tour. So here's the home screen. Um, quick tour. I'm not exactly used to Android. For some reason this just like kind of like a respring in Apple language. But as soon as you touch that, it um, vibrates. And here we go. Um, it's the change log. 1.1.5 is not the Android version, it's the version of iDroid. So we click OK. And here we go. Brand new Android right loaded up. And just like that. So we have our task bars right there. Um, it is a little bit laggy. It's a port, so keep that in mind. But it is very nice, and also the home button is more like an option key. And the lock button is like a back button. But volume does work, and most um, stuff does in fact work. Let's just do... Just random... And vibrating does work, if we set it down. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is, in fact, vibrating. So if you want more coverage on this Android um, overview, I'm also going to do one last thing, and I'm going to show you how to turn it off. You just hold the home and power just for probably a matter of three seconds. We'll do it over here as well. And we just want to click power off. So let's let that do its thing going to power it off and then you have your option to load at the bootloader so this is iPhone 3G 4.1 iPhone 2G 3.1.3 so we're just going to let it do its last power off and yeah so they both just vibrated for some reason iPhone 3G is off and you just turn it on there we have Open iBoot, that thing that we installed first. And we have Open iBoot over here as well. And you just click Home. And it boots. So as you can see right there. Android OS on the iPhone 3G and iPhone 2G. I think I will be doing a full walkthrough once I get used to the Android. Of course, iOS is way better than Android in my opinion. And on these devices. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Go check out Hack My iPhone down below. There's usually a lot of support, and there also is my contact form if you're having any wicked issues with this Android installation. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And this was Mr. EJ's Tech, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.